Philip Chisholm. This is Philip Chisholm. Chisholm was a 14-year-old freshman who had just moved from Tennessee. On 22 October 2013, Chisholm followed his math teacher Colleen Ritzer into a school bathroom and brutally raped her and murdered her by cutting her throat with a box cutter. Much of the attack was caught by surveillance footage. He rolled her body out of school in a recycling bin to bury her in the woods and returned covered in blood. Later that night, he went to the cinema and bought a ticket using Miss Ritzer's credit card. Ritzer was a popular teacher at Danvers High School, about 25 miles north of Boston, during her dream job teaching math. Chisholm, wearing a dark suit and glasses, reportedly showed no emotion during the court case. He was sentenced to life in prison with parole eligibility in 25 years. Isaac Duran Infante Isaac Duran Infante, 23, was accused in the murder of his teacher Felicia Barahona, 36, and their son in the Women's West Harlem apartment on December 22nd. He was charged with first and second degree murder. During a confession at the 30th precinct, Infante admitted he and his ex-lover got into an argument. Infante didn't like how Felicia was raising the child. Things like feeding Miguel a lot of fast food and dressing him in feminine-looking clothing. Also, he claimed that Barahona was interfering with his relationship with his new girlfriend. He knocked her to the ground in the living room of her third-floor apartment. He allegedly told police she was holding a pair of scissors when she got up. Infante wrapped an electrical cord around Barahona's neck and then squeezed the cord so tightly that she choked to death. After witnessing his mother being strangled, Miguel Barahona, 4, was crying in the bathroom when the suspect took a computer cable, tied it around his neck, and also strangled him. Infante then put on Felicia Barahona's clothing and left the building while concealing his face. He then went back to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, where he discarded the clothing. He tried covering up his crimes by trying to make it look like Barahona killed Miguel before killing herself. Infante then grieved for his son while being questioned by detectives, but he was found guilty and later confessed his crimes. He was sentenced to life in prison. Nathaniel Brazil as a child, Brazil was surrounded by domestic abuse and alcoholism at home, and local police frequently responded to calls from the Brazil residents. On May 26, 2000, the last day of school before students were to start their summer break, Brazil was a 13-year-old student at the school. Brazil was sent home early for throwing a water balloon. He returned with a gun, which he had stolen from a family friend, and went to Barry Grinnell's English arts classroom demanding to see two female classmates. When Grinnell refused to let Brazil speak to them, Brazil shot him point-blank in the face and watched him die in front of his classroom door. After the shooting, he ran. Other students testified that he pointed a gun at a teacher as he fled. At his trial, Brazil told the jury he never meant to pull the trigger. He received a sentence ranging from 25 years to life in prison. William Cornick William Cornick was born on June 26, 1998. While his parents were separated, Cornick was said to have been raised in a supportive and loving environment. He was diagnosed with diabetes in 2010, meaning he would not be able to follow his dreams of going into the army. Two months before his 16th birthday, his, completely irrational, feelings of anger towards his Spanish teacher, Anne McGuire, began to intensify. Cornick told his friends that he wanted to kill Mrs. McGuire after she gave him a detention and told him that he could not drop Spanish. Anne McGuire was a Spanish teacher who had been working at the Corpus Christi Catholic College in Leeds for four decades. Cornick had been planning to murder his teacher and two others on the day before the attack. He considered using a gun or even pushing Mrs. McGuire out of the window. On the morning of the murder, he took two knives to school, including one with a 21 centimeter blade, as well as a bottle of Jack Daniels. Cornick did not hide his plans and even told fellow students that he planned to kill his teacher and target another one who was pregnant. After going to Spanish class with Mrs. McGuire, Cornick returned to the classroom and stabbed the teacher in the neck and back seven times. Mrs. McGuire, who was just five foot two inches tall, then ran from the room trying to escape. She screamed to a fellow teacher that she had been stabbed. Other staff member then pushed Mrs. McGuire into a room and blocked the door so Cornick could not get in. Mrs. McGuire passed out and despite attempts to resuscitate her, she was pronounced dead later that day. Cornick was jailed for life with a minimum of 20 years at Leeds Crown Court on 3 November 2014. Jeremy Goodale This is Jeremy Goodale. 
Jeremy Goodell, 17, and another teen, Willard Miller, are accused of killing Fairfield High School Spanish teacher Nohima Grabber. Nohima Grabber was reported missing on November 3, 2021. Her body was later found at Chao Tao Kwa Park. Police say she was beaten with a baseball bat. Jeremy Goodell faces charges of first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit a forcible felony. Goodale described in the messages how the pair had conducted surveillance on Grabber and described how they killed her and dumped her body, according to the police. Grabber's car was caught on surveillance footage entering and leaving the park on the day the teacher's body was uncovered. Jeremy Goodale faces a separate trial from Willard Miller. Both teens are charged as adults. A potential motive for the shocking crime hasn't been disclosed, as attorneys for the teens are fighting to keep many documents in the bizarre case from public view. Miller also had a motion to move his trial to juvenile court, but a judge had not ruled on it yet. If both teens are convicted as adults, they face life in prison without parole. John Christian This is John Christian, a Murchison Middle School teacher, Wilbur Rod Grayson, who was shot to death with a .22 caliber rifle by 13-year-old student John Daniel Christian. Witnesses said Grayson, 29, a first-year English teacher, was sitting on a stool when Christian entered the classroom, raised his father's rifle, and shot Grayson three times. The young killer was the son of George Christian, former White House press secretary under Lyndon Johnson. John Christian spent 17 months in a psychiatric hospital and recovered his mental faculties to the point that he finished law school at the University of Texas and is currently a lawyer in Austin. At John Christian's 1978 hearing, a pair of psychiatrists testified that the 8th grade honors student suffered from latent schizophrenia and that putting him in juvenile detention center would only increase the severity of his mental illness. Christian told doctors he didn't single out to Grayson, despite reports that he was angry about a failing grade. That was it for today's video. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button.